The Queen traditionally invites her Prime Minister to stay at Balmoral Castle for a weekend during her summer break. The monarch is widely believed to have extended an invitation to Boris Johnson and his pregnant wife Carrie for this year too. The couple and their son Wilfred have yet to travel north of the border for a face-to-face -face meeting with the Queen. And the crisis raging in Afghanistan may make it more difficult for the Prime Minister to be able to spend a weekend in Scotland with Her Majesty. Buckingham Palace told Express.co.uk it does not comment on the Prime Minister's movements. Downing Street did not comment on whether Mr Johnson will travel to Scotland to meet the Queen. The Queen travelled to Balmoral in late July but was officially welcomed to her castle with a traditional ceremony only on August 9. During the event, which took place at the sound of pipes and drums, the Queen inspected a guard of honour formed of five Scots, Balaclava Company, the Royal Regiment of Scotland. The Royal Regiment of Scotland's mascot, a Shetland pony called Lance Corporal Cruachan IV who in 2017 tried to nibble Her Majesty's posy of flowers, was also present to greet the Sovereign. The Queen's summer break is expected to last until early October. While in Scotland, the Queen is known to live a more relaxed and ordinary life. The monarch's former footman Paul Burrell told Channel 5 documentary The Royals on Holiday, she just likes to live an ordinary life. So whether it is washing up the dishes after a picnic on the hillside, or whether it's putting together a jigsaw puzzle, or making herself a very stiff gin and tonic in the evenings that is the life the Queen wants. Besides a meeting with the Prime Minister, other royal duties carried out by the Queen even during her holidays include reading the government's documents sent to her daily in the famous Red Box. The crisis in Afghanistan started last week, when the country fell back into the hands of the Taliban, which had ruled it between 1996 and 2001. After two decades of war in Afghanistan, started by Washington in response to the 9-11 attacks, Donald Trump announced an agreement for binding peace signed by the US and the Taliban. In April, a few months after his election, U.S. President Joe Biden confirmed all U.S. troops were to leave Afghanistan by September 11, 2021. On August 15, the government in Afghanistan collapsed as the Taliban swept through the country and conquered it within a week. Panic ensued ahead of the new regime being installed, with thousands of Afghans and foreigners in the country attempting to flee. Crowds of people have been swarming the Hamid Karzai International Airport in Kabul hoping to be able to leave Afghanistan. Mr. Biden said to have an agreement with the Taliban for the militant group to allow the safe passage of Americans and others to the airport at least until August 31st. However, it has been claimed by some current and former U.S. officials Americans and Afghans alike have found it hard to pass through Taliban checkpoints leading into and out of the airport. Moreover, videos show gunfire outside the airport, stampedes at the gates and desperate Afghans trying to hold on a plane leaving the airport to flee their country. Heartbreaking footage also shows many parents trying to hand their young children to soldiers through barbed wire fences, hoping to see them leaving the country. As thousands are still trying to flee, Western leaders are virtually gathering today to discuss the August 31st deadline. Pressure is growing on Mr. Biden to negotiate more time for the airlift of those who want to escape Kabul.
Mr. Johnson will lead the G7 virtual meeting, and is expected to push for a deadline extension. Related articles Lady Louise given special access to archives by Proud Queen 7 Bizarre Things the Queen Owns, from Dolphins to World Records Harry and Meghan have no constraints speaking out unlike Queen.